So hello everybody, Brissonos Studio One version 7 is out and it got lots of inspiration from Bitwig and in this video we will have a look at these things. For example, there is now clap support, yay, in Studio One and there is clip support and we have scenes as in Bitwig as well. And I also want to have a look at the inter-exchange format, the DAW project format, which allows you to exchange project files between the two doors and let's check out if it already supports the new clip and scenes as well as clap. But first let me show you something I totally forgot to show you which is there I think at least from version 6 but maybe also in older versions which is the support for the multi-sample format. So multi-sample is an open format also initiated by Bitwig and supported in their sampler but also supported in the samplers of Studio One for quite some time. So here I have a number of samples in my library and if you don't know I also have this tool called Convert with Moss which allows you to create samples in that format from lots of other different input formats. So check that out as well. It's totally free and you can get this from my website. So let's try to load such a sample. You simply drag and drop it here in the track list and it will automatically create a track for you with a sampler and... It's there for you to play and then you can tweak it to your heart's delight. It's really nice for having a common sample basis for your Studio One project as well as your Bitwig projects and you can use them in both doors. And there is now clap support and as you might have read already it's still a bit shaky so this is more to consider to be a beta version but there will be soon an update for Studio One I got told which will improve that a lot and a lot of UHI plugins for example are currently crashing but Search for example is running pretty nicely so let's fire that up and let's pick here a different sound whatever. So this works totally nice and you see here on the right in the browser you can filter now also for clap plugins. So good news for clap people. Clap is definitely here to stay. Now all the big doors except the ones from Steinberg, surprise surprise, and Ableton is still missing out. But now we have Reaper, we have Bitwig, we have Studio One and FL Studio and lots of more niche doors already supporting Clap and I know there is more to come, stay tuned for that. But what we actually wanted to look at is the clip and scene support. So let's first switch over to Bitwig. So here in Bitwig I have a little idea of a new song and I was creating this while testing Contact 8. So everything is here Contact 8 instances with lots of samples loaded from their library with a bit of drums and some bass and yeah let's just have a listen. So nothing too impressive, but a, a first rough idea. So let's see how that translates over to Studio One. So let's create a DAW project. So we can say here export as a DAW project. And let's say here mellow DAW project, just save it. And we can already switch over again to Studio One. And in Studio One, you can simply say you want to open that project and it's somewhere completely else. Songs, ideas. And here it is. Here's the DAW project. So let's open that. So, and funnily enough, just to be different, I guess, from Bitwig, they have their clips and scenes here on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side, but that's fine with me as well. And yeah, let's give that a listen. Yeah, sounds pretty identical to me. Only thing missing is here the delay channel, which had a specific Bitwig plugin, which did not translate over. But all the contact instances here are working nicely, which is really great and not unnecessarily expected to work. 
So great feature if you want to move your stuff over to Studio One, but you could also work the same way and translate that over to Bitwig. So, and one cool feature, which I also would like to see in Bitwig is really nice. So you can open here this little view and here you can have a playlist so you can experiment with your scenes, how an arrangement would work best of a song before going into the arranger. So you can simply drag and drop here your scene. So let's say that one is this introduction should play two times and also this is what would be maybe some kind of uh, verse. I also want to see that twice and then let's have this three chorus once and then the chorus we want to have three times and so on. So you could create here your first sketch and here you can also play back that as well. So when the first clip is finished it jumps automatically to the second scene. Here it comes. Okay, so we don't have to listen to everything, but you get the idea. And I think that's really a cool little feature to get a first experimental thing going. Now, I was curious, can we also move that now to, to the arranger? Okay, you can say here, move that into the song. So let's try that mode, replace, insert at cursor. Okay, let's do with replace. Here we go. So that's really cool. How do I zoom here? Yeah, like this. So, okay, so we have here your first sketch straight into the Ranger. So this is really a nice way to work. Another thing to mention is that the Clap plugins also do not translate over currently to Bitwig or the other way because they chose a different way to store that data. But I heard they are currently discussing that with Bitwig and this should also be fixed in one of the next updates. Yeah, so great additions to Studio One and now also Bitwig should be inspired with some ideas. For example, here, this would be really something nice to have in Bitwig as well. And please, finally, Bitwig, give us pitch correction. It's here in different variants here in Studio One and that's especially one reason to bring stuff over from Bitwig to do pitch correction here and yeah why not do we have that in Bitwig but nevertheless until next time make some funky music